Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 45 in the Free Cat series. Today we're going to make some measuring spoons or cups. It's going to be cylindrical in design with a handle. A very simple design. Let me show you the formula here that I came up with. So where the, the height of the cylinder is the radius times one and a half, this would be the formula. The radius needs to be this times the volume in liters to the power of one third and the height needs to be this to give you that rate, that volume using this ratio. Let me show you which version of FreeCAD I'm using. <clears throat> 0 0.19, revision 19, 758. This is a development release on Windows 10. I need to update this because I know there have been probably a few changes. It's uh, probably a, a week or so out of date. <clears throat> so if we create a body in part design and add an additive cylinder and we make the height 1.5 times the radius. That's the ratio. I'm pretty happy with that ratio. I'm going to go into dynamic data, add a DD object. And the Atlanta type. And this will be the height. We're going to actually calculate this. All right, and we'll add another length for the radius I'll just leave them at zero for now I mentioned uh, these formulas I had come up with so let's add those in This one will float. Might could go volume, but I'm gonna choose float type. This will be the desired volume. Desired volume of cup in liters. Let's make that one just for the moment. And let's see if we can add our formulas now. So this is the height. Control C to copy that, Control V to paste it. V is not a recognized property. It's desired volume. And this is going to be the formula for the radius. Delete 
that one is our volume. And we'll set our cylinder radius to radius and our height to height. So this should be a one liter volume. And to test that, I'm going to go to the Python console and I'm going to enter app dot active document dot cylinder dot shape dot volume and we're 999,999.9999 milliliters cubic milliliters and a million cubic milliliters is a liter I did a search <clears throat> how many cubic milliliters in a liter and if we go to um, liter here and cubic millimeters here we see that it's one million and then you can see I was also looking at how many gallons are there in a liter? So that's how many gallons there are in a liter. If we wanted a measuring cup gallon size, which I really don't, but let's just say we did. We have load here. And this will be gallons per liter. And I'm going to create a new group and call it new conversions. And let's see what other ones we have here. We're going to do quart and pint and cup. I'm going to do cup. The cup is 0.24. So let's add another here, another float. Cups per liter. And that's 0. Point, no. Point twenty four and gallons per liter. I forgot to add copy. that a formula too so it's not easily accidentally modified because we're never going to modify that that's a uh, constant so that's cups and gallons and <clears throat> what I was really thinking of making is tablespoons and teaspoons teaspoon control C to copy and this will be a teaspoon and 
We use these here in the States. <clears throat> so if you're from across the pond, you probably would want to make some other um, fraction of a liter for your sizes. Right, that's enough to be getting on with. So we can set the desired volume to make a tablespoon, for example. And this should be a tablespoon size. So let's go back into part design. And now when we make A thickness. Uh oh, I need a selected face. Notice we have the option of inwards or outwards. We don't want it inwards because that'll reduce our volume. And this arc option gives you a fill along the bottom. If you don't want that fill it, Choose intersection. Should not affect the interior volume. I want this thickness to be a, a parametric value. So we're going to add a length property. This will be thickness, wall thickness, and this is going to be in cup dimensions. So that's just the way of organizing your properties. So we had our constants in one section and our cup dimensions in the other. So I'm thinking three millimeters for the wall thickness. You might want to adjust that depending on which size you're making. So I'm making a tablespoon here. Now we need to go ahead and make our handle. So I was thinking, would it be better to have the handle on the top, where it's more traditionally at, or on the bottom? And my thinking, if, if I put it on the bottom, I could print this on a 3D printer without needing support for the handle because it appeared to be hanging over. And if I print this upside down, I'll need support for the inside of the, the cylinder. So that's a decision. One advantage to having the handle at top is We'll be able to store these by nesting them inside one inside the other. So I'm going to put the handle towards the top. So let's make a sketch. Um, on the XY plane. And I'm thinking have have an arc. Let's put that on this edge.
So down here with some edges out to there. Let's put another arc. And this radius is going to be radius plus thickness. All thickness. something wrong there. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I didn't set the... Yeah, I did. It's not doing what I thought it was going to do. Something's not right somewhere. Ah, one. I didn't set this yet. Wall thickness. Had me confuzzled there. So this should be plus wall thickness. Get uh, unit mismatches because let me click this as I was scrolling down the list. Some of those were not the the type of unit that it needed. All right, so now these two edges can be symmetric. I'm going to put a construction edge there and set this angle some reasonable value. We'll go back to normal mode. not connecting just get it kind of close I want these to be tangent let's try 160 Let's try 120. Mm. I might have to make this entire circle if I'm going to put this on the top. Because I'm going to need another um, circle here. Let's make that a full circle. No, make it an arc all the way around. 
Let's see. I thought this through very carefully. You can see. Alright. Catch one here. Should I make that concentric or tangential? that these tangent constraints are a challenge so that's over that radius divided by 2 Set this but I want it longer than this. point to point
I want that a little narrower. We can make this different size. circle in the middle and this will be radius DD radius and could make another hole here So if we wanted to hang this up or something, we got a radius divided by four. Let's try that. All right. And now we need to move that sketch. Attachment offset by I think height, isn't it? Let's see what height does. And pad it downwards. And we'll pad it by thickness. sure I didn't up I didn't change the uh, volume of that cylinder that's the cylinder that's the thickness cylinder thickness pad I think we did I think we need to pad this in reverse and now let's look at thickness yeah because if we pad the wrong direction we're actually making that internal volume a little bit bigger than what, what we want well this one is a tablespoon size and if we wanted A teaspoon size F5 so it looks like it's all uh, parametric for us and let's try the gallon size Now, our thickness is not linked to the size at all. So, a three millimeter thickness on a gallon size is probably not going to cut it. So, you'd want to adjust that thickness if you went with this size. I don't think that's gonna see that's uh 3.78 liters that's the wall thickness kind of scares me a little bit but this handle especially but I'm not planning to make that size I'm actually not really planning to make any of these but if I were I would make the tablespoon and the teaspoon and the cup. I might make half a cup size, which would be just divided by two for half a cup. And 
we could also engrave into here what size it is. We're at 30 minutes right now. Do I want to go into that? Why not? So this is a one half cup size. We go to draft. <clears throat> Switch to the top view. shape string I used that arrow font before and it did me wrong I think Asimov one of these I'm trying to remember which one didn't crash when I ran a check geometry on it, we set that point one half cup. Let me save this file. I'm going to put this in my YouTube models and I'll make this available. You can download it if you prefer. Just be measuring, measuring cup. I'm saving it because if it crashes, I won't lose all this work. might should make that two shape strings one half above and cup below drag that into the body and We're going to map it. Let's hide, let's show this origin. Alright, switch back to the task. Select the XY plane. And hide that origin again. So this will be the height. Should we pad it above or should we cut into it with a 
Subtractive. I think that's big enough to be visible. Save it and go to part and run. Check geometry. And if it crashes. It did crash. That wasn't the right font. I don't need to recover it because I had the foresight to save my file. Maybe it was the Asimov OTF. getting this error. He doesn't like that font, I guess. These are just some fonts I downloaded. Did a search for free fonts and TTF I don't see why I'm getting multiple solids Mark to recompute. Ah, uh, there is a problem. There's the problem. There's a problem. Right there. All right, let's go back to that as a mod font. You see, the size is not a specific actual size. It's more or less, for each font, it's going to be a little different. I think I need to go a little bit to the right. See if that one will pad. Save my file again. Cross my fingers again. Check geometry. And he crashed again. Well, 
I'm not going to keep boring you with that. I think the model's fine. <clears throat> you can actually check up to that point. Let's go over to part. When you select your feature and you run your check geometry, it checks it up to that feature. So we can go to the previous feature and check. And if it's okay, then more than likely uh, everything's going to be fine. For some reason, these fonts could be this. opening in this P right here. I don't know. Well, that's going to do it for today. This video is running kind of long, 41 minutes. So, if we change the size, chances are we'll have to modify this shape string because it'll be too big. It's not going to be parametrically linked properly plus you'd have to change the, uh, the text anyway on each one so that's going to do it i thank you for watching and as always have a great day